What's going on, guys? It's Outboard Garage here. In other words, Aaron and Alan. And uh, this is my YouTube. This is going to be about, you know, projects, some trucks. I got an old K5 Blazer if anybody's interested. Not for sale, but watching-wise, you know. We got we got some things, you know. Hopefully, hopefully it lasts. You know, hopefully I can keep on going, you know, if... If it works out, it works out. So, but we got. What year is this, Dad? Tell him. This one here is an '87. This '87 SPV Pro Comp Sprint bottom that was was a race boat back in the day. From what I researched that I've done on it, and uh, bought it from a guy that was redoing it. Started to the bottom was blown out. I guess it was a race boat, and the guy had to uh, a guardrail. Thinking from my research that nineties, early two thousands, just from the color that was underneath this when I was uh, redoing the boat and saw the color and saw certain forms with it on this particular boat. So, anyways, I finished it up. It's a uh, two point five five pedal, a uh, little bit of compression, one forty. I built it seven years ago, about seven years ago. 3,000 miles on it. Don't know what it is in hours, but that's how many uh, miles is on the, on the odometer and the GPS unit. Um, she's been good. She's been a good boat. Super fun. A little quirky. Um, it's anyways, fun, though. About to get to the, uh, the Eliminator next. Yeah, what is this, Dad? Tell him. What is this about? Eliminator Daytona, one of four built. Uh, Why is it one out of four builds? What makes it different? The story is some guy ordered four of them for uh, what reason? I don't know. But he ordered four of these boats in 92. And I know of one other one like this one. Um, fun boat. Very, very sketchy ride. Uh, it's already been blown over once by a buddy of mine. Um, just a really light, light boat. Catch too much air. But it's fun to drive. What makes it, what's the difference between the four boats? What four makes boats. it different? The four boats. The four of the made, what makes it different? Oh, there's no pod, no center pod. It's not a, it's not a mod BP, it's just a true pad. Goes all the way through. So, but for that reason, it packs a lot more air into it, which, you know, it's, it's on the edge all the time, so. That's it's ran with this motor on this boat. It ran 96 on GPS. Um, this one really had the GPS. It really hasn't set it up all the way. Uh, to be honest with you, getting a little, getting a little scared to push it too far anymore. You know, with my age, it used to not scare me, but now I do have a, a little bit of fear of them. And that's the uh, the two projects for the winter. Just got through redoing the gear tapes on this one, so it's it's padded out two times already. Changed oil on it, checked it, it's fine. So it's back up and running. Plan is to put this motor back on that boat, and then I've got I'm in the process of, of building, going through what parts I've got and putting together another 2.5 uh, 2.5 motor. Well, let me check it out. Let's see it. What do you got working on it? What are you doing to it? Well, this was a core block that I tore apart and uh, checked it over and discovered it stuck three pistons. Um, How's the did, pistons? Did what do they look the like? Cylinder up, but definitely, definitely torched the pistons. Oh yeah. So basically, this one I've got another one that I did the port work on. We've got a. a mill in here, Bridgeport Mill. So I uh, was able to do some of the, you know, the, you know, porting, the, you know, cutting the chest and resurfacing the heads or kicking down a few cc's. So just trying to get back into it. It's kind of, kind of been out of it for a little bit. That was just a rough cut. Uh, it's not a good finish. It was, um, I didn't have the, uh, Table complete locked down and the the piece clamped on the on the on the table. So 
it was just an old head I was just playing around with. It was a cutter that someone had given me. <clears throat> so should have been a little bit more precise on what I did, even though I was playing around. But interesting. Yep. So that's uh, that's what we got going on here, and then uh, in between all this. Oh man, are they ready for it? We got the old '79 Hydrostream. So actually, v correction, we got a 1976. 79. 79? So we're doing a little research here. If you guys are a little bit more, you know, um, educated on the hydro streams, if y'all can uh, see that here, but we're trying to read the VIN numbers here and actually see what what's to make an actual model on it. We know it's a hydro stream, obviously, but we don't know what kind of, you know, module it is. Or it's module, it's I'm it's sorry. A, a model. V a V-King. Oh, so but if anyway, you guys, we pick this one up for five hundred bucks. Five hundred bucks. Five hundred bucks. Um, I do glass work, obviously. So if you guys can see a little bit, it's a little dark. I'm sorry. It. Someone had just done a transom in it, and they did the floor in it. Floor solid. I took a boroscope, uh, boroscope camera just to look up in there, and it's clean. It's fresh. Um, so basically it's just uh redo the outside strip the paint back down to the gel sand the gel and see how it looks and go from there take this out redo it take the panel out well, let's see a little soft spots but everything two, else so two front seats one back back bench is what we're thinking yeah run it back it's all you guys can tell it's all rotted out here because you know cut it out put a little glass work you know epoxy it you know, I'm not that good at glass work in here, but when that, when more coming, I'm glad to learn, you know, I'm excited. So it's going to be a fun project, you know, it's going to be definitely a learner experience, right? Right on, dude, show a picture of the... What's up, guys? So it's the next day. It's a little bit rather outside, as you can tell. I actually got daylight here, so recording at nighttime, you know. Uh, here's a better clips of the boat. As you can tell, I definitely need some uh, paint stripping and shoot it new paint. Start of buffing it with the DA. It's going to take a while, so we're just going to use paint strip. You know, go on this section. Strip, paint strip, all that. You know, have it about five minutes of waiting. Strip the paint off. Just go in. Needs uh, Definitely needs paint. Could be better, could buff it out, you no, know, but I'm just gonna paint it all white. Copy the STV a little bit. It's not bad. Guy already got a new trailer, got a aluminum galvanized trailer over yonder, beyond that trailer, but not bad. Gotta definitely cut this out, re, re glass that. It's all soft. You can tell. But it's the aluminum high beam trailer that we're gonna be using to put on the hydro stream. Needs a little bit of work, you know, but we got the trailer actually for free, so. Needs a new bent axle, so we're gonna replace the axle, maybe the springs or get new uh, leaf buddies or something, you know, bearing buddies. So we're gonna rebuild this one. Probably put new felt or something on the board because the board's actually not too bad. It's not too bad with dry rot, but don't need much. It's a nice trailer. I mean, it's aluminum high beam, so you can't beat it. You know, especially since it's free. You know, so you can't beat free. You can't beat this either. So it needs a little bit of work, like I just said, but it won't be too bad if you know what you're doing. Also, just another walk around. We got another boat here that we we might put in money into it. We might fix it up. We might sell it. I don't know yet, but we're still thinking about it here. B drive, flat bottom. That's what my dad knows more about inboard drag boats than me, you know. So with that being said, y'all definitely got some toys and projects to do. That's why it's outboard garage. A lot of projects going on here. And six or three Continentals, not for us. It's actually my dad's buddies that we have for about three or four years now. 
just trying to fix the motor up and get it, you know, running and send it back to the paint body shop and uh, have them fix it up and get it on the road. But actually this motor, it's actually a 150 with a 2.5 lower end. It's actually completely stock, you know, but it's pretty fun. You know, it's actually a really reliable motor. It's not really any performance wise, but it still goes about 75, 80. And it's a, it's a fun, fun motor, I'd say. You put it on that one over there and then plan to have this to this and this motor to there. So we're gonna have basically two motors swaps. We're gonna have this one getting to swap to that one and that motor, like I said, is gonna get swapped to the Hydra stream. But we need to buy, well, I need to buy at least a new jack plate for the motor to sit on. But for the most part, doesn't, like I said, it's really not too bad. If you guys know what you're doing, you know, and you're into this stuff, it's not bad of a boat for $500, you know? You can't beat $500 if you're a speed adrenaline person. Then over here, I've got my old square body, K5 Blazer. It's a 1986 Custom Deluxe. It's not too bad. It's just another project I uh, acquired over the years, and it's definitely one of my favorite trucks, I would say, for the least. Really not too bad of a condition for what it's worth, y'all. Back windows. I'm still waiting on parts for the back window tr channel brackets so I can have the back window finally up. New window seals. I got everything in the garage for this, so can, that would be up finally. It's been a while, but LMC barely makes it. Seats seem better days. New door panels and everything coming soon. Certain work on the interior, y'all. This is one of my side projects I've been working on for about a year. We got the whole entire carpet kit. I just need to put, need to drill holes, in the seat brackets, bolt the seats down. I might just leave these seats here for now. Nope. Oh. New steering wheel, new dash pad, new speakers. You know, it's gonna be restored. Cord's sticking out, that's for the radio, but plan to do that all soon, but it hasn't been started in about two days. Let's see if she wants to start. Don't even need to get the, hit the gas. But. Not bad. Like I said, it's a project, but it's one of definitely one of my dream trucks. I actually wanted to always have. It's old, but you know I love old stuff. You know it's it's definitely uh, unique. I would say rather than you know these new cars or you know everything out on the road now, but. Driving an old square body is definitely a different motive to go, you know, so if you ever look into a square body or ever thinking about buying something old and you still have a daily driver and you got not a lot of bills every month, I would recommend getting a, a truck that's old. It's, it might look old, but damn sure it's fun. But for that, for there, it's my uh, K5. You guys, if you ever want to see more of the blazer maybe you know a couple of videos of me restoring it or stuff like that you know let me know down in the comments and yeah i'm gonna make it uh probably gonna wrap this video up so hope you guys enjoy